Hello guys, my name is Tassin and welcome. I was asked to make a video to show you how to upload an image from the device onto your server, which in our case is PHP script. And from that, you have a choice. Uh, you can either store the image into your database or you can store that in uh, the file system. So I'm gonna make a two part video. And the first part, I'm gonna show you how to let the user select the image from the gallery and display it in here this in, in this image view and second part we're going to use that image and as you can see in our database we have this image name column which shows you the image name of this user which we have stored in our file system so if this is the server and I have this image folder in which I store all the images so we're going to upload that image on in to this folder and then update this image name column so we can see the new image so in the first part uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add up an, another button up here which say change image and which let us select the uh, images from the gallery um, notice I'm not doing anything with the camera because there are lots of uh, codes up in the if you google search uh, to show you how to exactly do it uh, my purpose of this video is to show you how to upload the image and I have to do this short video to actually select the image I mean uh, to show you how to select the image from the gallery so I'm, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go quickly to the uh, get activity customer detail and I've added okay, okay. so I add up another change image uh, button so I want a button and if I can quickly copy paste this thing I'll call it change the image and to be on safe side we're gonna set the text here uh, okay and then we go We'll go in the customer detail activity and make another variable. Let's call it change image button. Import this. Then up in here. We're gonna link it to the the layout button. And quickly before I forget, because if you see in a part for video, I have shown you how to show the images in the list view. Unfortunately, I've lost that code and. I've seen so many requests asking people about the code and I'm really sorry. So I'm, what I've done is uh, from this day now on if I make another videos, uh, what I've done is I've already uploaded this uh, code onto my GitHub page and this is an Android app uh, and this is the PHP script which, uh, which you need to talk to the database. Uh, feel free to download it and please if you can, uh, I mean, start them so more people can see it. So let's add the listener to this button. Uh, I'm gonna add links for this uh, GitHub page. Uh, you can easily locate me with my ID. So and and this on click, uh, we gonna start an intent to show the gallery. Uh, so I have already copied the code here to save us some time so what we're doing here is we're creating the new intent setting the type as image and asking it and setting the action to the get content and then we are starting a activity for result and the name of we are giving the header as a select picture and let's just add the static 
unique string so we can sorry so we can understand when we in the on result on activity result we can uh, actually know that this is getting the result from this activity we have initiated from this button and for some reason I'm losing okay so so this is all done and uh, because we're using action dot get content we need a uh, permission so go to the manifest file and add permission and the permission you need for this is read external storage and once you're done uh, let's copy this again and like I said I've copy pasted this uh, and I'm gonna tell you what it does it's normally it's, it's gonna be same as always uh, you don't need to know more about it Just let get all the dependencies so quickly uh, we're checking on activity result once uh, the user will select an image into the gallery it will it, this method will be called we're uh, checking if the result is okay so there is no failure and once and after that we're checking if the request code is the same as we have given here so we know that this uh, the result is coming the data of this intent is coming from the activity we have uh, started and then we're checking we're getting the uh, URA from the data and this is a good piece of code I've found so if you have uh, the build if you we if you're making an app which is uh, for the build version less than 19 so this this method uh, will get the image uh, for you and if you have a build version uh, greater than 19 then this will be so in short, uh, if you copy paste this code, uh, you don't have will you won't have any problem in getting the image, uh, whatever image you select in the gallery. Uh, you may have to do a little bit of thinking when you are adding the functionality of a camera. Uh, maybe you are using this method same for the camera, but that is a different thing. So once we get the bitmap from either of this. Uh, methods or either of these things I have set I will pass that image uh, to the set image which I will describe up here and once this image is passed I will set the image view I will set the image of the image view Okay, so if I run this, hopefully it will let us choose the image from the gallery and uh, update the image view. So select this, opens the gallery, I have two files in there, select one of them and it changes this. So this is the part one. In the part two, I'm going to show you how to use this image, uh, which we have got in this uh, here, and how to upload it to uh, the PHP script or the server. So I'll see you in the next part. Thank you. Thanks for watching.